In today's video, I'll be showing you how to use a hard reset to bypass a forgotten lock screen password, pin, or pattern. So first, when you're on your lock screen and you've forgotten your password, pin, or pattern, what you want to do is perform a hard reset, which means pressing on the side key and the volume up down button at the same time until your screen goes black and then you move the finger from the volume down to volume up. So let's do it together. So side key, volume up and side key and volume down at the same time. Keep pressing, keep pressing. And when your screen goes black like that, move to the volume up button. So just keep pressing and holding on both keys until the Samsung logo appears. Now, once it's appeared, you should notice that you have now entered recovery mode. And to scroll through recovery mode, use the volume up and the volume down button to move up and down, and then use the side key to select an option. So for this, we need to scroll down using the volume down button until we find the option wipe data and factory reset. So use the side key to select that option. And then you'll be given a warning, meaning it will say this cannot be undone. So everything that is on the device will be deleted. And if you have an SD card as part of your device, it will also be deleted. So make sure you understand those warnings. And then to wipe the factory, to wipe your device, just go to factory data reset and then press side key. So as you can see, you'll be taken back to the recovery mode menu. And at the bottom of the screen, you'll see data wipe complete, which means that your device has now been reset back to its factory settings, the way you got it in the box. So what you want to do is reboot the system. So press on reboot system now. So side key and to select that option. So now all you need to do is just wait for your device to restart with its new format with so anything that you've had any pictures music apps that you had installed have now been deleted completely and so just wait patiently for your device to restart so as you can see your phone is restarting and then you'll be taken back to the same page you found it when you were setting up your device originally so continue with the setup and then agree to the terms and privacy policy and then you have the option of setting it up with a galaxy or a samsung device or any other android device or an iphone or ipad so you can choose to set it up like that or you can just choose to skip that option for now. And then you can connect it to a Wi-Fi network if you have one. So once you've entered in your Wi-Fi password, just connect. And then you can continue to the next step. So now you'll just have to wait your phone for, to get ready. It may take a few minutes. It all depends on your Wi-Fi speed. So once you've your phone has finished setting up, you can enter in a PIN or you can use your Google account instead. So use your Google account if you have one. And then just wait for it to load so you can enter in your account information. So enter in your email and once you've entered in your email, just tap on next, enter in your password, then just wait for your, if you have a two-step verification method, confirm it. And once it's been confirmed, you have the option of using the previous, you have the option of using the new account or you can add previous. So use new account. 
you can skip that skip then you can also copy apps and data from your old phone so you can choose to copy right now or you can just do it a different time so don't copy then wait for your device to continue setting up and then you'll have to give permissions for certain google services for example location scanning send usage and diagnostic data and installing apps so once you're okay with all of these just tap on accept and then choose a way to protect your phone either by face recognition fingerprints pin a password or pattern if you don't want to use these right now don't worry you can just skip and then these are additional apps that you would like to install so if you don't want to install one of these apps you can just tap on the check mark and it won't be installed so read through the list if you're happy with all the apps that are being installed just tap on ok so wait for the apps to be installed and wait for your phone to get ready it might take a few minutes so just wait patiently so you can also choose to sign in into your samsung account if you have one you can also choose to create account or to find your id so you can choose to sign in now or you can skip and do that later and then these are a list of samsung services that you're agreeing to nearby device scanning customization service and continuity service so when you're happy with all of these and if you've read through them you accept their terms and what they're offering just tap on agree and then you can choose your display preferences either dark or light so let me choose light and then tap on next and finish up the work by tapping on finish so now you'll be taken to the home screen and you'll notice that some apps are grayed out this means that they're downloading so make sure you have a steady wi-fi connection so that these apps can download quickly thank you for watching if you have any questions or comments leave them down below and we'll get back to you.